Let's learn how to run API calls in a sequence in Postman Flows. I have three calls on my canvas right here. I have a create data, update data, and get all data. The way I have it configured right now is once I kick off a flow, the start block will trigger create data and update data at the same time, and get all data is not connected to anything, so nothing will happen there. Let's update the order that these calls will execute in. So I'm going to delete that line from the start block directly to update data. And I'm going to drag this block up here. You don't have to make this horizontal, but that's the way my brain works, so I want to leave it there. And then I want get all data to be called at the end. So I have these three calls sitting horizontally just because that's my preference. But again, when I kick this off, nothing's going to happen because the line only connects the start block to the first call. So what I'm going to do is connect the success output to the send event connection. And once I establish this connection, the update data call will execute after the successful running of create data. Now only on success. If this call fails, like say my server's down, nothing is going to trigger either of these calls. And let's not forget about this last call here. So the way I have it set up, again, it's horizontally on this canvas, but you might choose vertically or diagonally or whatever you want, and you might have a lot more blocks to run. But now that I have the event connections set up, they will run in sequence. And you can see the execution order there. This is how you can run an API um, flow in a sequence. There's not any passing of data. So right now I'm not passing through any response body into subsequent calls. Check out another video we have about passing data between blocks.